Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And um, first of all, I must say that it is a, it is a huge honour and a privilege to be invited here um, to talk at this meeting, which already for us has been uh, very, very exciting indeed. Ooh, I'm going to have to stay. I'm going to have to stay really close and cosy with this. Um, it's been very exciting already for us. We've been in workshops. Uh, we've had a, a most wonderful opening ceremony last night, which I felt really taught us a, a great deal about how to do things and how to show uh, the position of medicine and medical education, not only nationally, but also internationally. Uh, this was a wonderful, wonderful occasion. Um, I've had so much excitement and so much interest, I can hardly believe this meeting is only just beginning. Um, so, so thank you very much. Um, now, I'm going to be talking here about curriculum as the basis of quality in medical education. I was just going to talk about you know, quality generally, uh, and then I realized you can't really talk about quality generally. So I decided that I would think it through and think what do we mean when we're talking about quality. Um, and I decided in the end that what a curriculum does is to describe the nature of your profession and the nature of the induction into that profession that you provide for your young people. So, first of all, quality. What's quality? I don't know. Quality doesn't really mean anything unless you put an adjective in front of it. So really, it's about what is good quality. The conference theme already has identified some components of good quality. Now, educational approach is one. We heard yesterday evening uh, at the opening ceremony uh, a list of different types of educational approach, different types of learning that we can use these days. Some might be good, some might not. And one message that I would have, I'll have sort of messages, one message that I would have is just because it's new, that doesn't mean it's good. And another one is just because it's old, it doesn't mean it's bad. So, educational approach, I shall come back to that. And you know, just because it's done abroad, that doesn't mean it's good either. So, educational approach. Governance, which is the word that's now used for management, organisation. So, governance and the way in which medical education actually is organised and managed is very important. I'm an educational psychologist, as, as you've heard, but I've always believed that the key to good education actually is good management. Supporting students, not only with wonderful education, experiences, a well-managed course, a well-managed training, but also supporting them to develop positively as a professional and positively as a person. I would add there, actually, supporting teachers as well. And teachers are the people that we very often forget. We look at what the learner needs, at what the learner is experiencing, and we very often forget all about the teacher and what the teacher needs and what the teacher is experiencing. And I'll come back to that. So we not only need to support students, we also need to support their teachers. Evaluation and accreditation, I shall say some more about that in a different talk later on in the meeting. But evaluation of what we're doing, reflecting on what we're doing, knowing that what we're doing is producing the sort of quality that we want is important and demonstrating